Gerard Cuffel of Montevilliers, France. Winner of Barcelona Race 2015, Barcelona, the Queen's race on the international calendar. This race is followed worldwide, and every fancier dreams of winning this race one day. Barcelona 2015. Many fanciers expected a hell of a race but it was not all that terrific. Given the weather forecasts and the heat wave that raged in Europe since a few days, everybody was wondering how the race would develop. Some were expecting a race that would last for several days, while insiders were probably laughing at the idea. It was obviously a terribly hot day, as 19,083 pigeons entered for the Queen's race enjoying a favorable tailwind blowing in south-southeast direction. It was going to help them sensibly. The first and only announcement on the first day of the flight was registered at 20 hours 57 minutes 5 seconds. Nothing else came that day. The French loft started to clock their first pigeons at 8 a.m. the next morning. Then we also had an announcement from Noel Pyron, at a time when not many pigeons were back home yet. The heat continued to rage even early in the morning. We had to wait until 9 hours and 48 minutes to see the first announcement in the Netherlands, by the legendary Cord de Hyde. However, he was eventually beaten by another Dutch loft later on. The Netherlands managed to achieve a fantastic result at international level finishing in 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th and 8th place. Then, a large group of pigeons started to arrive home. Several pigeons came back home, and so we knew that we had a smooth race. The Belgian national race was closed during the second day of flight. The international race followed quickly, during the third day of flight, in the middle of the evening, 20 hours 40 minutes for a Belgian short distance. In the end, it proved a successful race for the organizers from Kiregum Center. It's quite remarkable to see how our pigeons are now able to push their limits. Twenty years ago, the same race would have been probably lasted three times more. But things have changed. Most of the fanciers are now basketing their pigeons for the final victory while in the past, some basketed their pigeons just to get rid of them. Henceforth, Barcelona is the ultimate goal for numerous lofts and the teams are prepared specifically for the race. That's what makes this such a magical race. Barcelona is a special race. Victory for the Cuffle family. The international winner from the family Cuffle will always be a special pigeon, as he was the only one to get back home during the first day of flight. That's why he was renamed the special one. A fantastic performance for some, a suspicious one for others, unfortunately. And yet, it was completely normal, a pigeon at maximum potential who had to cover one of the shortest distances at international level, with a favorable wind. In addition, the temperatures are often lower along the French coast. This achievement is totally plausible. Hard but possible. Nobody never contested the performances of the Dutch fanciers when they clocked many of their pigeons during the night. It's simply a fantastic performance and everybody has to respect it. What this pigeon has achieved is truly exceptional. He had to fly on his own during the biggest part of his trip of 917 kilometers to get back home. He showed his strength and orientation capacities. The strongest, the quickest, the best, a five stars performance. The skeptics should keep their mouths shut. The winning arrival. He came back from work and he took care of the rest of the pigeon family before he took a seat to await a potential early arrival with his two sons. Why not? At around 20 hours 45 minutes. He quickly checked the speed of the other arrivals and he concluded that it was impossible for the pigeons to fly above 1,100 meters per minute. And then, the unthinkable happened pigeon came like a bullet to land on the roof. It's a Barcelona. After a few seconds, the pigeon entered in the loft to be clocked. It was the first nominated of their team, which was also their first pigeon clocked in the federal race from Dax three weeks ago with a top five classification in the general result. It was an exciting moment, and their hearts stopped beating for a while. The Cuffle family had just clocked the only pigeon ever to arrive home on the first day of the race. A national winner in full effect, and a potential international winner. The next day, 
they heard the official news that the Cuffle family had won the first international from Barcelona against 19,083 pigeons. A historic achievement. A winner with Belgian origins. The new fresh international winner is a 100% Belgian pigeon. His parents were both bought from Ivan de Nuffborg from Estins, first national champion extreme long-distance KBDB 2014. Everything started during the winter 2008 when Gerard Kuffel decided to buy a voucher offered by the great Belgian champion. Gerard had heard about this Belgian loft several years ago, and he wanted to learn more about him. This voucher was a good opportunity to visit the loft and to check the quality of the pigeons. Gerard quickly came in contact with Ivan de Nuffborg to let him know that he didn't plan on visiting him in Belgium anytime soon but that he was interested in what the champion had to offer. He visited him a few months later and came back home with four late breads. Two of them would become the parents of the recent international winner. That's the reason why the winner was first named Wallonie, the Belgian region where Ivan de Nuffborg lives, before being renamed the special one by his new owners. Hugo Battenberg and Pipa Elite Center. This name fits him well, given his recent top, the Kuffel Loft. The racing team consists of 200 old birds that are raced in classic widowhood, which is quite a heavy task. In addition, there is also a team of 61-year-old cocks raced either in classic or total widowhood. To conclude there is also a team of 25 hens, while about 150 youngsters are ringed each year as well. After they had won almost everything at club, departmental and national level, Gerard decided it was time to compete in the international races a few years ago. Nowadays, they are focused on the long distance and heavy long distance races, Barcelona, Marseille and Perpignan being the most important races on the calendar. For those that have not yet heard about this pigeon family, here is a brief summary of what they already accomplished in these races. First, Barcelona International 2015 against 19,083 pigeons. Second, Perpignan International 2003 17,330 against pigeons. Third, Perpignan International 2007 against 14,576 pigeons. Fourth, Perpignan International 2003 against 17,330 pigeons. 5th Perpignan International 2004 against 17,570 pigeons. In addition, they claimed a national victory from Perpignan 2004, as well as their international win from Barcelona. There are not many lofts with such a list of achievements. To be able to shine on the international races, the Kuffel family built their loft on their old breed from which they have been breeding over the past 35 years. You can add to this the lines of the second International Propignan 2003, 100% Tantart, of the fourth International Propignan 2003 and of the first National Propignan 2004. These pigeons were transferred to the breeding loft immediately after their performance. The Cuffle family is constantly looking for ways to strengthen their loft, which is why several pigeons are purchased every year. The purchase of the Denuffborg pigeons is a perfect example. The Kuffel family had just made history. And thanks to this victory, the pigeon lofts that managed to win the international race from Barcelona will always be something special.